Let me introduce you to nutmeg and cinnamon, two of our broody hens. It appears peaceful, but there's a secret battle going on inside this coop. My name's Fiona, and this is Hen House Turf Wars. The story begins with Nutmeg, who hatched her brood in this coop. Now we documented in an earlier video that it wasn't an easy hatch at all, but she settled with her 11 chicks and she settled into this hen house in her own little mini flock. Now this was their own space, which they shared with no one. One night it all changed. Not make beds down for the night, choosing her preferred spot to sleep. But as she settles, Cinnamon enters the coop. Now both hens had been hatched in the same clutch, and they'd grown up together, so there's no real violent rivalries between the two. But there is a very, very definite pecking order, and Cinnamon is the dominant hen. In an act of dominance, Cinnamon is determined to get that coveted spot. So she starts by pecking nutmeg on the head. Not in a painful way, but simply to exert her authority over nutmeg. Now that clearly doesn't work. So what she then does is she goes behind nutmeg and Cinnamon puts her head underneath her and physically shoves her forward and keeps shoving until she gets the right position. Once Cinnamon is satisfied that she actually has shown her dominance and she's got the position that she actually wants, she stops and both hens start to settle down. The two stay in this position and actually bed down for the night with their chicks and go to sleep where they are. The next night, Nutmeg settles down in her preferred roosting spot. Once again, Cinnamon enters the coop. Now tonight, she shows her dominance by scratching at the bedding in front of Nutmeg. This doesn't move Nutmeg at all. So the next thing Cinnamon does is peck her on the head. And once again, there's no reaction. The next thing Cinnamon needs to do is try the same technique that worked the previous night, which is to get behind Nutmeg and try and shove her physically forward. Now Nutmeg is ready for her this evening and what she's done is she's stuck herself fast and she's actually pushed herself up against a wooden bar so that Cinnamon can't get her head underneath her to shove her forward. Now you can hear scratching and that's Cinnamon desperately trying to find some way to get her head underneath Nutmeg but it's just not working. Cinnamon keeps trying and trying to find a way, but it doesn't go well, and she ends up somersaulting over Nutmeg's head. Her final attempt is to squeeze in beside Nutmeg, shoving her sideways so that she gets the coveted roosting position. Now this tussle goes on for a little while. Eventually the two settle and they'll settle here and sleep for the evening. Ten minutes later, after all of the shoving, the scratching and the somersaults, all is calm. But 
By the time night three rolls around, Nutmeg has learnt. And she's learnt that her best technique is to select a location closest to the wall and also closest to the wooden bar behind her, stopping Cinnamon from getting her head underneath her. Cinnamon has also learnt. What she's learnt is that gestures like scratching and head pecking just don't work. So instead she goes straight to trying to get her head underneath Nutmeg and shove her forward. But because Nutmeg's got this new location, it just doesn't work. Cinnamon's next idea is to try and squeeze between Nutmeg and the wall. And she tries and she tries, and eventually she manages to get her head in place and shove Nutmeg to one side. Now it does look uncomfortable for Cinnamon, but she does stay there, and both hens then settle down for the night once again. By night four, Nutmeg has turned herself around so her back is against the outer edge of the coop. Now Cinnamon, who's in the foreground, doesn't really know what to do with this because she can't get her head underneath Nutmeg to shove her out of the way. So she looks as if she's going to make a nest and settle down beside her. But no, she's decided she's got to show that she is dominant so she gets her head as far as she can in place and pushes and pushes and eventually Nutmeg is displaced. As you can see, some of the chicks are already trying to settle for the night underneath Nutmeg and they also get shoved out of the way. Now tonight, Nutmeg decides that this is her coop. It was her coop to begin with, and she is going to take it back. So she learnt from Cinnamon, she learnt from the best, and she gets her head down, and she gets herself in position, and she shoves. And she shoves Cinnamon right out of that preferred special spot. Now Cinnamon doesn't really know what to do with this and she gives her a couple of little pecks on the head just to try and show her dominance again. But to be fair, it's not Meg's coop and she settles down and the two of them sit and they roost in this position for this whole night. On night five, it's Nutmeg's coop. Cinnamon doesn't come join her, and Nutmeg and her brood can settle peacefully on their own in their own hen house again.